Hi everyone, it's Bree from Sonic Alert. I'm here responding to the many requests that we received for a homeware tutorial video, setting up the main unit from start to finish. So we're gonna jump right in by starting with the battery here. We're going to connect the battery to the device. First thing we need to do is open this battery door. You're going to put your finger under this lever here, push on this arrow to kind of slide the door off. Inside you'll see your battery. If you pull it out, there is a wire with a plastic end right here that we're going to attach into the compartment on the device. It's right here in this inside corner. And there's a little plastic ridge. I'm sorry, it's so small, you probably can't see it. But um, that little ridge is going to have to go into the opening on this compartment. So I have found that it's a lot easier if you put the device actually down on the table, make sure that it's lined up nicely in your fingers and go nice and slow pushing it into the device and you're going to slide it right into that compartment and give it a little tug just to make sure that the battery is attached properly. Put it back in and we're going to put the battery door back on. Make sure the wires are out of the way. They can be stinkers. Oh, there we go. And we're going to put these teeth right in and slide the door back on until you hear a click. The next thing we need to do is remove this cover on our power cord because we're going to plug the device into our outlet. So we're going to push down on it until it clicks right off. It can take a little more pressure than you think to take this off, so don't be afraid to really push on it to help get this, this cover off. And we're going to take our power cord and plug it into the smaller port that is closer to the end of the device. That is for our, our power. If you do have the optional bed shaker, this is a good time to also put that in there while you have the cover off. It's this larger port right here. But if you don't have the bed shaker, that's fine. You're good with just your power cord and we're going to put the cover back on. Slide those teeth right back into place and push up toward the top of the device to snap it in place. Now we're going to plug it into our outlet and we're ready to go. You may notice that there are some error messages that immediately pop up across the screen. There's no reason to be alarmed. They are easily cleared and we will get rid of them for good in just a moment once we set our time. So we're going to clear those messages for now by hitting the alarm off button right here on the top. And you'll see your time with some flashing dots right in the middle there, which means that it's ready to be set. So to set our time, we're gonna start with the hour, which we're going to use the volume and hour buttons, and we're going to just press on those to move either up or down to change our time. You will notice that there is an AM and PM dot that shows up over here on the side of your device. So make sure that you, if it's 12 PM, you have that PM dot there so that you're, you make sure your time is set properly. So I'm gonna set mine for 12, let's say 1210. We're gonna move on to the minutes here. The tone and minute buttons are going to be used to change those. And I'm going to click up until I hit the number 10. And then we're going to hit enter on the device in order to lock that time in place. Now, I mentioned that there were some error messages that we were going to try to get rid of permanently. This is for if you do not have a bed shaker. If you have a bed shaker, don't worry about this part. Move forward in the video and we'll, we'll talk about setting your phones and your alarms, everything else that you may need. But if you have, do not have a bed shaker, we're going to turn off that, that error message. So first thing you're going to do is click the setup button in the corner of the device right there and the word link will show up. Click on the tone button, this blue button here, and it'll walk you through some options of what you want to work on. We're going to keep clicking that until we get the word vSense to show up. vSense, see right here. Hit enter. And if you're getting that error message, it will still be set to on. So you're going to want to hit the tone button to switch it to off and then hit enter. It'll say done. And so that error message will now be gone forever. So you're good to go until you possibly, if you want a bed shaker later, you can always turn it back on. Now we are going to set our alarms and you'll see on this side of the device, these buttons here, there's an alarm one and alarm two. So 
it's nice there's a dual alarm you can do them both separately the first one we're going to set is alarm one when i click this it turns on the alarm one button right here and it shows me the time that my alarm is set if you want to change the time you held it down and you can see the dotted the dots are blinking again just like when we set the time we're going to set it very much the same way that we set the time with these buttons here for the hour these ones for the minutes hold it down get those buttons going and change it once again make sure that you are cognizant of this a.m and p.m you don't want your alarm going off at 7 p.m if you're trying to wake up at 7 a.m so i'm going to set mine for 7 05 a.m our hours are here our minutes are these buttons over here once i'm ready i'm going to hit enter this dot here by alarm one tells me that that alarm is set and I am ready to go for the next morning. If you want to turn your alarm off completely and not have it go off on a day, you're going to just hit that alarm one button again, the alarm one set, and you'll see that button go away and that'll turn your alarm off so that you don't have it go off the next day. You're going to do the same thing with alarm two. You can click on that one. And if you hold it down, you'll get that, that option to set your alarm so that you have the right time and place. Hit enter. I'm going to turn off that alarm two by hitting that alarm two set button because I do not want two alarms going off tomorrow morning. So now it's ready to go there. So now we have our alarm set. We have our time set and we're all plugged in. We're ready to go. We've got our battery back up. So now we're going to move on to if you would like to hook up your landline phone to your device. So this is pretty easy. We don't have to push any buttons on the device. It's really just attaching some cables. The first thing that we're going to do is use this cable that came with the HomeAware. And this is actually going to connect this device to the port in your wall for your phone. So on the back of the device, you'll see two phone outlets, one's for telephone, one's for telephone line. Right now we're utilizing the telephone line button, import. I'm gonna push it in there. And then this end of your port will connect right into your wall. And th then this unit is actually ready to receive calls. It'll flash across the screen. But if you want to go one step forward further and actually connect your phone directly to the device as well, we also have that option. And what you're going to do is take the, the cord that attaches to your phone, and instead of plugging it into the wall, we're actually going to just plug it into the back of the device here where it says telephone. So we'll take that end of the cord, plug it in. Now your device is ready to receive calls through the telephone and is already plugged into the wall. So your phone will not plug into the wall, only the home aware will. Okay, so we've got our landline set up. Our smoke and CO is already set up on this device, so that's not something that we actually have to set up. It's ready to listen the second it's plugged in and it's, um, it's starting to go. So you don't have to worry about that. The only thing left is if you want to receive notifications from your cell phone. So we need to connect the phone via Bluetooth. And the rest of this is actually going to happen on your cell phone, not the device itself. So you're going to need to download the home aware app go into your app store and it is an orange logo with a house and the three lines on it i can try to show you on the phone here what it looks like you're going to download that and open the app in order to to do the pairing you'll see here, let me turn these off on mine you'll see some areas for phone calls text messages and gmail and those are permissions that you can turn on. You can customize which alerts you want to receive. So if you want to turn it on, just click on that and it'll turn orange. Click on the little button all the way to the right and you will receive from your phone some permissions that you have to grant. So read through those, make sure you're comfortable with all the permissions that you're granting. But once those are all turned on, then you will receive notifications on your main unit for your phone calls, your text messages, and your emails. Now we are ready to pair your HomeAware to your phone via Bluetooth. So 
you're going to click on the button here that says pair with your homeware in orange and a little pop-up will come up that'll tell you what you need to do if you have the homeware 2 not the legacy homeware unit you do not need to worry about having the smartphone transmitter that is something that um, is now included in the device. So if you have the homeware too, please ignore step one here on the app. But then what we're going to do now is work through step two. We're going to hit the setup button, much like we did when we turned off our vSense, and you'll see the word link. Hit enter, and link will start flashing. Hit okay on your, on your phone, and you'll see they're starting to pair. You'll see a pass key that shows up and it says pair with HomeAware. That pass key should also show up on your device. So hit okay on your device and enter on your HomeAware. And now it should say that it's connecting and you can tell once it is paired because you'll see a little Bluetooth dot show up here and on the phone itself, you'll see that it's connected. It can take a second. Oh, we can see that little red dot showed up on my HomeAware that tells me I'm paired via Bluetooth. And then on my phone, it now says connected. So I will start receiving those messages for phone calls, text messages, and emails just right across my screen. I'm ready to go. So we are now fully set up with our main unit. There are additional add-ons that you can get and we'll, we'll post them separate videos also showing you how to set those up. So stay tuned for that. But if any of this did not go as planned, hopefully it did, please feel free, as I said at the beginning of this video, to reach out to us at Sonic Alert. We're always here to help. But I really hope that you have learned something today and enjoy your new device. Thanks so much.